everyone, Electronic Search here. Back with another video. In today's video, we got this sharp LCD TV. Um, this was trash picked. Um, there was um, I actually found this not far away from my house. Found it in an alley. There was a mattress by it, so I gave it a good clean. Because if this thing was sitting right next to a mattress, um, gotta clean it off a little bit, get those bed bugs out of this house. But yeah, here it is. There was also a piece of paper, a piece of paper taped to the LCD screen saying good working. So if it's good working and there's a paper that says it on it, why not grab it for a video? And... And also, um, this is an HDTV. I don't know if you could see that, but it says HDTV right here. And since it has that, I could have 50-50 chance of that Zenith right there. And then this one being my computer monitor. But I'm still thinking, this would be a very good computer monitor. And this is a 25 inch, I don't know from what year, I I don't know what from year, I, I'm guessing 2010, what do you guys think? That looks like from 2010, I don't know, but to me it looks like 2010, it could be 2005, it's a 25 inch, um, so yeah, I don't know, it's got dull by surround. Dolby uh, Digital. So as you can see right here on the bottom are the speakers. Sharp. Here let me just bring it closer. The only thing I would like for this TV to have is a little bit of handles. Because this thing is thick. I mean, look at this boy. Look how thick this thing is. Look at that. Look at this thick boy. Oh, and guess the power, the power of volume channel uh, input stuff is on the top of it, not on the bottom like your, like your main TV or whatever. Some TVs today they only have one button. You just press it. And then there's a whole menu you have to do. That's it. Uh, older TVs just have like menu input. I prefer those kind of TVs instead of like the buttons. That, but that's what it is. Like for example, Samsung or Sony or LG or something like that. So this does work. The paper was not lying. And if it was lying, I would be very disappointed. But it does work. Um, it, it does not have a menu button, which is very weird. Oh, no, it does not include a remote. It does have a power cable included, but it did not have a remote. It did have a power cable with it, and it's the original one. So if you turn it around... As you could see here it is. This thing's very th thick. So when I would be putting this on the wall, I would rather not put it on the wall. Would rather put it on like a bench or table type thing. But if we go ahead and turn it around, you could get a little sneak peek at the power board and the main Input, input, and uh, and uh, screen driver board thing, whatever it's called. So you got the power cord right here. I could see a copper coil staring out of there already. Um, I see a fuse in there. Um, a volume one. A heat sink. Another copper coil. Um, a capacitor and a bunch of more um, weird stuff that's on a power board. Here, I could move it closer. 
If you guys want to look at that, uh, you can't really see it on camera because I like need to zoom in in order for you to like see it. But you could just, I mean, you could see that there's like a copper coil up here, right there. Um, the audio receivers right here. The fuse is right there. You can't see it because fuses are small. And then right here on this side, you got the driver board. Here is the detail. Oh my god, this thing's so cold. Right here we have the details model sharp. Sharp. And then I'll show you the, uh, the connections in just a second. So here it is. Um, volume. Here's the model. Um, I'm gonna say it out loud. So the model is oh, it's a liquid crystal TV, sharp liquid crystal TV. The model is LC dash two six S H one two U. Uh, space S, all capitalized letters. All right, so uh, we're done over here. You also got your wall mounts, just in case if you do want to wall uh, mount this on the wall. All right, switching it down, you could see the connections. So right here we have video, S video. We got uh, AV, AV right here. We got an antenna. Um, composite video right here composite and another AV a VGA and of course an HDMI right here I will move the camera down a bit excuse the mess over there uh, those TVs still need a little bit of work for them so if I could just move it up here there is the HDMI jack, VGA, antenna, and all that. And then right here you have a, a nice little label, which is which. So you got that thing. Oh yes, that's right. I missed an audio jack. It's an audio HDMI slash PC jack. The VGA... Uh, Jack does look like it's um the if you look at the VJ Jack you can see that it's a little bit scuffed up so I think this TV was used as a monitor because look at that VJ Jack that thing looks scuffed up so it was definitely used by VJ details again all right well, let's go ahead and bring it to the front right here and let's plug it in you also have your IR your power LED and the power and then dull by digital and then this is just the speakers the brand um, oh let me scooch this thing up a bit all right we got Energy Star and HD TV high definition television. And then the power buttons. This is going to be tough. Oh, you could also see that there's a little bit of some scuffing right here. That is from the paper tape. So just volume, channel, input, and power. And then the vents up there. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in. Um, let me show you show you the power cord real quick. All right. So it is a. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Wrong power cable. I'm sorry. That one was to the zenith. Here's the power cable from this one. It's just a standard um, square and circle, and then just two jacks right here. It's a fin uh, fino. Don't know if you could see that very well on camera. 
But let's go ahead and plug it into the side of the TV, which is right here. Just grab this. Just power right in, in there. All right, we're good. So let me pick it up. This is going to be a little bit far away. I could scooch up the camera. Alright. But as you could see, there is a red LED light right there. So let's go ahead and turn it on. So, in 3, 2, 1. Please wait. The LCD starts up very fast. Let it load. There we go. We got antenna right here. So we could change the input. And there we go. We have snow. So right here we have input 1, input 2, input 3, HD, which is HDMI, and then input 5. And then we could just go back to TV. I haven't tested the antenna yet. I'm pretty sure it works. Um, but I could try the antennas in my room. But I, I think this will just be a review video. I might do a speed comparison with the Zenith TV. But I think this is pretty fine. So as you could see, this display is lit, lit up right now. It's just too bright in the room. There we go, now you could see it. So it's fine, I mean, nothing wrong, so we'll turn it off. There's a little click of it turning off. And that's it, and then the power LED is red again. When it's turned on, it's green. So I'm for this, oh, sorry. That is it for this video. The stand also has this little design where you could ha have the remote, uh, where you could put the, the remote. But again, I don't have a remote. So yeah, that is it for this video, guys. I'm going to try to get this gunk off or that piece of tape off. Thank God I didn't crack the LCD by doing that. I also need to give the screen the the LCD screen a good cleaning look at that that's nasty so I'm gonna go ahead and do a speed comparison and then I'll see you setting this up as my monitor so thank you for watching like subscribe comment have a good day and I'll see you in the next video bye